Hi, I'm Dennis Brock, the creator of the Brock Magiscope. And here we are pond side. This particular pond does have alligators, so I have to be very careful. Uh, bring an adult with you when you do this because you're dealing with things like how deep is the water, what else is around here, as in the case of the alligators. I've got my turkey baster, which I have marked so I don't actually use it for turkey or get it confused with the one at home. A container with a lid. And I'm going to take a look at what I have here. Now, I don't want the clear water. If I could just, and be careful when you step off. If you can't see the bottom, you shouldn't go there. I can actually see the bottom here. And I'm going to be grabbing some of the seaweed from off the edge here. Instead, uh, the, the, the critters you're dealing with like to hide out in all this stuff. They very rarely uh, go into the middle where there's nothing. You find them along the edge. You take a little sediment up in the bottom. You find nematodes and all sorts of things in there. Take it from the very, very surface of the water. Stir it all up to get them moving. Take more from the surface. A good thing to do is if you could take plant out that's got enough stuff on it and just basically pull it into the jar. I don't know if you can see this, but if I have something like this huge root system, I might just stick the whole thing in there. Something's going to be hanging around in every part of this, along the edge, along the bottom. Turkey baster is fast. I could use a disposable pipette, but it's kind of kind of silly when you can get all that in one time. So look around for any kind of pond scum you might see. That looks pretty good under the microscope. Remember along the edge, along the bottom, just along the top. A little more for good measure off the bottom. I don't want too much silt in there because it clogs the filter. Later on when I had to filter this out through a coffee filter, if there's a lot of stuff, it'll clog up the filter and it makes it take a lot longer. As you can see, I'm only a few inches in on the left here, so I can actually see the bottom. Again, I stressed that. Don't be walking off into water you can't see the bottom of and bring an adult with you. So we're going to take this back and filter it out and see what we got. Thanks.